Lesson 157 Into his presence would I enter now. Hi there. How would you like to experience a touch of heaven today? How would it be to live with the Divine Presence in every moment of our lives? Let's try to figure that out today, with Lesson 157. Into His Presence Would I Enter Now Today is a day of silence, trust, and promise. Heaven has made this day special by casting a timeless light, allowing us to hear the echoes of eternity. This day is holy because it brings us a new experience and a different kind of feeling and awareness. For a long time, we've been acknowledging death, but today, we're going to embrace and learn to feel the joy of life. This lesson marks a crucial turning point in our journey. We're adding a new dimension to our understanding, a fresh perspective that sheds a light on everything we've learned and paves the way for our future lessons. It takes us to the door where learning stops because it won't be longer needed. From that point, we can catch a glimpse at what lies beyond the highest peak that can be reached through learning. There, we pause for an instant, and then we step beyond, certain of our direction and our ultimate goal. Today, we're going to experience a touch of heaven, even though we'll still continue on our learning journey. We've come far enough on our journey to be able to break free from the laws of time, and to step into eternity, even if for just a while. And as we keep practicing each lesson, we'll speed up our journey to this holy place, where we can be one with our true self. The Holy Spirit will lead our practice today, because what we seek is what He wants for us. When what we want aligns with what God wants, what we're asking for must be given to us. All we need is today's idea to light up our mind. Into His presence would I enter now. This is the idea that will let our mind rest peacefully, waiting in quiet joy as we swiftly retreat and leave the world behind. Starting today, our ministry takes on a genuine devotion, and a warm light that radiates from our fingertips to those we touch and blesses those we encounter. A vision will reach everyone we meet, think of, and those who think about us because today's experience will transform our mind in such a way that it becomes a touchstone for the holy thoughts of God. Today, our body will be sanctified. Its only purpose now is to share the vision we experience today to illuminate the world. We cannot directly transmit this experience to others, but it will leave a vision in our eyes that we can offer everyone. And it will help them come sooner to the same experience that we had, where the world is forgotten and heaven is remembered. As these experiences grow and all other goals become less significant, the world we return to starts to resemble heaven a little more closely. And it will get a little closer to the end of time. We, the bringers of light, will perceive the light more clearly and our vision will be sharper. Eventually, we won't need to return in our current form. For now, however, this form serves a purpose and serves us well. Today, we're embarking on an adventure we couldn't even dream of. But guess what? The Holy One, the giver of the happy dreams of life and the translator of our perceptions into truth, our sacred guide to heaven, has dreamed this journey for us. Let's embark on this journey today, embracing the experience this day offers as our own. Into Christ's presence will we enter now. We're going to enter into Christ's presence peacefully aware solely of His radiant face and perfect love. The vision of His face will linger, but there'll be an instant that transcends all visions, even this holiest one. This is a vision we will never teach, because it cannot be taught, as we didn't attain it through learning. It's the vision that we gain through remembrance of what we knew in that instant, a knowledge we will undoubtedly know again. Into His presence would I enter now. As usual, let's practice our meditations when we wake up and before we go to bed. And let's commit to remind ourselves of today's idea every hour. Into His presence would I enter now. Into His presence would I enter now. Into His presence would I enter now. Amazing! Right? 
describing the transformative power of these lessons becomes more and more challenging, doesn't it? Let's do our best to practice the holy instant, the present moment in which we are always called to choose to come back to the peace of God, instead of letting ourselves entangle with the dramas of this world we see. Deep down in each holy instant and deep down in our mind we can get closer and closer to that realization that we are all one. That's our home. That's what we are. And that's the place from where we can make this world of illusions a little bit better, a little more like heaven. But remember, you're doing great. See you tomorrow for another powerful lesson. Quick note before you go. Making these videos is a labor of love, but it's still financially challenging. If you've found value in what you've watched, please consider supporting with a donation. Even the humblest contribution means the world and ensures the continuation of these daily lessons. Thank you for your generosity. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.